The next type of reactions that alkenes undergo is addition reactions. In this kind of reaction, we start with a double bond. So I'm using the R to indicate uh, some other part of the molecule. Um, and it undergoes an addition reaction. And in this addition reaction, the double bond gets broken open. Uh, and instead, some other atoms become attached to the carbon. So I don't know what they are. Let's just call them X and Y. But that's what a standard addition reaction. doesn't matter what X and Y is. The basis of the addition reaction is the double bond gets broken and two new atoms are added to the molecule. Now, why is it relatively easy for this kind of reaction to happen for alkenes uh, where half of a carbon-carbon double bond is broken? When we know it's difficult to break a carbon-carbon single bond in an alkane. Remember, the alkanes are pretty unreactive. Well, let's, let's look at the bond enthalpies. The bond enthalpy of a carbon-carbon single bond is 348 uh, kilojoules per mole, whereas that of a double bond is 612. Now, this 612 is the amount of energy required to completely break the double bond, to separate the carbon atoms completely. That means breaking both of those bonds that make up the double bond. However, when an addition reaction happens, you only break one of the two parts of the double bond. If you look at the difference between uh, these two bond enthalpies, the difference is only 264 kilojoules per mole. So that means to turn a carbon-carbon double bond into a carbon-carbon single bond only requires 264 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so we have four kinds of addition reactions that you need to know about. Uh, in the first, a diatomic halogen molecule adds across the double bond. Uh, one halogen atom goes on each carbon. So you can see in this particular example we've used bromine. There are the two bromine atoms. They've broken the double bond in the original molecule. There it is. Uh, and two bromine atoms have been added. This turns the alkene into a halogenoalkane. Um, and the process is called halogenation. Now it could happen with any of the halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. The second reaction is hydrogenation. As the name suggests, this is when a hydrogen molecule adds across the double bond. So again, we start with the double bond. Hydrogen is added, and here are the two atoms, the two hydrogen atoms from the hydrogen molecule that have been added across the double bond. This, in effect, turns the alkene into an alkane. This reaction is harder to achieve and requires some special conditions, and we'll talk about these shortly. The third reaction is hydrohalogenation sort of a cross between halogenation and hydrogenation. In this reaction, a hydrogen halide, which could be HF or HCl or HBr or HI, adds across the double bond. So one of the carbons gets an extra hydrogen and the other one gets a halogen atom. Uh, like halogenation, this turns the alkene into a halogenoalkane but with only one halogen atom, whereas in the process of halogenation, it got two halogen atoms. Finally, there's hydration. The name suggests water, right? You drink water to keep hydrated. So in the hydration addition reaction, a water molecule splits into two parts and adds across the double bond. Here's the water. One carbon atom gets an extra hydrogen, and the other carbon atom gets the rest of the water molecule, which is the OH. So this process turns the alkene into an alcohol. Recall that an OH group here is the characteristic group of the alcohols.